So I'm a huge fan of your podcast. Um, one of the most common arguments that the left has against capitalism today is that the, wealth, uh, the wealthy and powerful are in bed with the government and acquire power from the government through campaign donations. One of the most common arguments from the right against big government is that, also, big donors have a strong influence on the government, and so policy is catered towards spe uh, special interest groups. Seeing as both sides agree money in politics is dangerous, why continue to allow private donation to political campaigns? So I don't think that money in politics is dangerous. I think money in the government's pocket is dangerous. Meaning that I think that if I want to give money to a political candidate, then that's fine. Why was, it that, why was it that for the vast majority of American history, money in politics wasn't a massive danger? And the answer is that it wasn't a massive danger because no one cared what Washington, D.C. did. It wasn't involved in your business. It didn't regulate you, right? It was actually unconstitutional for it to do so. Uh, and as government grew, as the coffers grew bigger, as it had the power to crowd out your competitors through regulation, then people see a necessity for spending a lot of money. So this was Trump's example, right? When Trump was saying this all during the primaries. And during the general, he kept saying over and over things like, well, you know, I was involved in giving money to politicians in a corrupt way because that's the way the game is played. Well, that's the way the game is played because there's actually like a giant piggy bank of money uh, at the federal government level. I don't think that banning money in politics changes any of that. You'll just see different forms of people attempting to, to gather these people in their pocket, right? I mean, you can't stop. How do you stop a corporation, for example, uh, or a union from telling its members that they should go out and vote a certain way? Forget about political donations directly to candidates. How do you, how do you actually stop that? I mean, that's, a, that's, that's an actual violation of free speech. Right? I have viewpoints on politics. Those viewpoints on politics, it's my, I, I have the freedom to express those viewpoints on politics. There is, there is no gap, in other words, between political spending on candidates and campaigns and me going out and pushing, you know, going out and printing my own yard signs or the New York Times printing a story. This is all part of the grand tradition of, of politics and back and forth in the country. What needs to happen if you actually want to stop money in politics is stop letting the government be so damn big. The bigger it is, the more people care about grabbing pieces of it.